I've swapped my usual three-piece suit for cricket where it's first time in a few years. I'm a guest player for the Rondebosch cricket team today here at the Terry Exton Oval, and we're playing a star-studded side, the Lord's Taverners, featuring, amongst others, David Gower, Mike Gatting, Andy Caddick, and former England fly half Rob Andrew. Why? Because the Lord's Taverners are in town, continuing not just to travel the world and play cricket, but more importantly, raising money for some wonderful cricketing causes. Well, the reason we're here, Dan, is because uh, we've come out with the Lord's Taverners and uh, we are uh, one of the, well, the biggest cricket charity in the UK at the moment and we've been uh, going for 70 years now. On the 3rd of July, we'll be 70 years old and it started in the Lord's Tavern uh, at Lord's Cricket Ground where some actors, funnily enough, um, started up the Lord's Tavern. They saw some kids playing and they didn't have any bats or balls. But they do an awful lot of good stuff uh, and have done for many, many years. Uh, mainly helping out with handicapped children. Um, so they've supplied mini buses to, get, to keep them mobile. The great thing at the moment is this table cricket. So, I mean, the, the whole hook of this, of this trip was table cricket on Table Mountain. Um, there are something like, I think, 9,000 children playing it in the UK. It's grown over the last 20 years. And the idea of this is to try and spread that in South Africa as well. It's so easy to play and it gets these kids so motivated, so involved. Um, you know, kids in wheelchairs who otherwise would have no chance of coming out on an oval like this, no chance of standing up and playing cricket, but sitting down in their wheelchairs on the table, their table tennis size table, and the rules are very simple, and they get really wound up, they get really competitive, uh, they build team spirit, they do all the things you get from a proper game of cricket, but with that disability. So Ronda Bosch has won the toss. We are batting first. I've got Peter Kirsten and Paul Adams in the lineup. Pretty cool for a cricket fan. Opposition led by Gladstone Small and Andy Caddick. We're in for a cracker. This is brilliant. Gladstone Small bowling to Peter Kirsten, but basically in 1961. First knock in about three years, replacing Peter Kirsten, like for life, really. Seen him through the drinks, I've seen off Andy Caddick. I reckon we're on top, especially in my test match like in this one. Yeah, so there's some pretty good cricketers in this team. I'm not one of them, so the best place to be is no one strikers in and just watch. Uh, talk wine with umpire Mike Gatting. Uh, and now it's getting quite cool because I'm going to be batting with Paul Adams. So as a cricket fan, today it's just getting better and better. There you go. It was weird, eh? <laughs> yeah. So this must be probably, I mean, you've played test matches, you've played industrial all around the world, you're now batting with me. It's probably the low point of your cricket career today. High pressure. I must be longer than you. First boundary, I've uh, been holding myself back, I felt. Uh, but uh, it does feel pretty good. Funny to get one off the middle. Uh, so I think I was probably about 100 or so. I hadn't really cast, but yeah, at least 100, probably slightly more. One innings down, we're going to go break the heat ourselves. You're obviously having a great deal of fun out here as, as part of the Lord's Tavern. How does Rob Andrew, a rugby star, want to be part of a cricket space? Well, uh, historically, I've always played it. Always played a lot as a kid at school, university. Um, played a little bit of Yorkshire Twos a long time ago when I was sort of setting off on my rugby career, and, and just always followed cricket. Always been a member of the Lord's Tavern for a long time. Um, still try to play, as you can see. Um, and it, look, it's great fun. It's, cricket's a great sport, as, it, as it's rugby. I've just spent my whole life in both of them. A um, bit easy to play cricket now at this age than to try and play rugby again. And the Taverners are just a, it's a great charity, lots of great people involved, raising a few quid you know, to, to try and put a smile on, on, the, on the faces of young, disadvantaged and, and mentally and physically disabled kids. And it's, yeah, it's great that it's happening in South Africa as well.
And so there we go, the end of a lot of fun out in the cricket field. Got a couple of runs, even took a wicket. Andy Caddick, the England player, caught and bowled. They'll be boring people to death for that story for years to come. But the important result of today was money and awareness raised for a project that's helping young children with disability to still engage in cricket, to engage in sport and to have some fun themselves. And that illustrates very vividly the immense power of sport for good. Thank you.